and welcome back to Yuka Manila. Basically, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make like a small dish with sardines in a tin. It's been quite difficult to find sardines like fresh from the fishmongers recently, so we resorted to sardines in a tin. I know you can get them frozen, but frozen sardines aren't really my thing. So here goes, I'll show you. It's a really quick, it's a really easy recipe. Here I've got sardines in tomato sauce. One of them is from Asda, I think this one's from Aldi maybe, I'm not sure, or Lidl. I'll do that. Okay, so I'm going to be quickly making this. It literally takes like, I don't know, 10 minutes, maybe even less than 10 minutes if you can do it fast. You only need this, um, which is sardines and tomato sauce and salt and pepper. And then if you want to, um, and a bit of chili powder as well. Um, and if you want to add other stuff like vegetables in and stuff, that's up to you. So I'll we'll heat up the pan and add the oil. I'm just using sunflower oil here. I can't be bothered getting some power oil from that big tub because I just don't have that energy right now. It's a Friday evening. Okay. Two thousand years later. I'm just going to add two or three curry leaves, but it is absolutely not necessary. Um, and I'm also going to add chopped onions. Again, it's not necessary, but it just enhances the flavors. <laughs> so the oil is almost heated up. I can't find our fresh curry apple, I don't know where they are. So I bought um, so I bought dried curry apple from Tesco's ages ago when we had a shortage of curry apple. But she uh, didn't have a lot of taste on the any curry apple, but she had a lot of taste on the curry apple. Because I don't know where the fresh curry apple is. So I'm just going to add this in for the sake of it. Okay, the oil wasn't heated. Heat the water again. I'll give them a little bit more. But like, you really do not need the curry leaves. And I've also got some chopped white onions here as well. Um, but again, it's an optional step. But I think it just gives you something to bite on. Okay. So just going to add it in. I'm going to grab a spoon. I don't know whether you can hear me, but while that sautés, I'm going to open the sardine tin so we can just put it straight in. So this is what the tin sardines look like when you open them. And it might not look that pleasing, but trust me, it tastes pretty much the same as when you shop by them. As you can see, there's a little bit of a colour difference between the one from Asda and the one from Aldi. But, um, yeah, these are the ones I had. I had more Aldi ones, but I just wanted to use Asda one up today. Um, but yeah, and Nyan Nanaite would be like a little bit on this. It shouldn't be bad, guys, but my heat was too high. Even though I told you to turn the heat down, um, I turned my heat down too um, slowly. So I've got my spices here I've got um, black pepper, red chili powder, and some salt. I'm just going to add it bit by bit because I'm not quite sure how much I'll need. Um, it's just a matter of taste and preference how much you put in really. Should be enough for now and then you can decide. I'm, I'm just going to add a bit more oil because I feel like it's a bit oil-less right now. Oh my gosh. Oh. So once that raw smell of the spices have gone, add in your sardines. So I've added my sardines in then. These three are Asda's tinned sardines. And this is um, Aldi's tinned sardines. So just kind of mix everything over. I've just added a bit more water to kind of give it a bit more of a sauce, which should reduce in a bit. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Add salt and pepper to your liking. Um, yeah, such a cheap and easy meal to make. So it's um, ready to eat now. If you eat it, you can eat it from the tin, but it's not like 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 it's